Harry Shaw can see here. Um, I wanted to share with you how I made my bird bath. And if you can see it, that's it down there. Um, that's the first one I've ever done. I haven't done any since, so this will be my second one. But I posted that picture on like three different groups on Facebook, and I had over 2,000 likes. And everybody was wanting to know how I made it. So I'm going to show you the steps that I did to give you an idea of what I did to create that. I started with my utility tray. Did it at Walmart or hardware store. I have sand, just white silic sand, play sand, it doesn't matter, the sand. Then I have a bowl. And um, this will give me my shape for my bird bath. I set it in there, center it up a little bit the way I want it. I pour, oh, it's heavy, more sand over the top. that. Now I like to, this worked for me, I took a little bit of water and watered over the top of my sand just a little bit. That helps, helps hold it together. I might need some more. I mounded it up. I need a little bit more water. That should be enough now. Pat it in. idea of how big you want your bird bath too. Try to make it smooth. I like making it flat on the bottom. Make it a little flat. to do this like I said the first one I made turned out and everybody liked it so that's a good start right there now I take I take two garbage bags and I tear them apart And I put, put them over the sand. Because you don't want sand in between the leaves and the concrete. And I press it down again. Just garbage bags. So how easy that is. Now, I have my hosta leaves, and I'm going to do this one different. The one down here, I had my tips going down out that way. This time I'm going to take and put my tips in. And you want to use the backs of your leaves because that's where all the veins and the texture is. So I just put it down like this. Kind of make it. Uh -oh. I have these and I'm 
like a, oops, that's my first mistake. Like that. And like this. Everything that you see is going to be, you work from back forward. So these will be back, and like, and the, everything I add to it will be like on top. So I have to, you have to think of that way. What do you want to be on top? How do you want that to look? So I'm going to use smaller leaves now, and I'm going to tuck in like this. like this on top, this this one on top, this one here on top, and this is going to make a nice because it will follow the edge of these leaves, should make a pretty edge, keep them up there, and I got one more, this one will be on top, bring them up a little more. Put this one in here like this. Now that's how I how I made um, arranged them. You keep them scooted up to where you need them to be. So it'll all be like this when I get ready to put my concrete on. And that should be pretty. That should be real pretty. It's a hot day today. It's like 90 out here, and the humidity is te terrible. We had a bad storm last night. So, this is how I arranged them. And then I'll put my concrete on here. Now, I don't have it mixed up yet because I figured I needed to talk a little bit. So, I'm going to stop and we're going to mix up the concrete. And then I'll show you how I put the concrete in. There you go. Okay, we're um, back. Um, we have the concrete mixed up. We use um, countertop concrete. That's a little bit smoother concrete. And Bob, you got this zoomed in pretty good, don't you? So they can see. We're having a little trouble with the wind. I want you to blow everything around right now. You can see how I, I did add another leaf, but you kind of see how I have my pattern now a little better. Um, basically, it's ready to go. So we're going to try to get it on here. And, uh, kind of hold down. I like to put it in spots first to kind of hold down the leaves. This one's old. Maybe a little thin. We'll have to see. But it sets up so fast. The rock's just there to hold my leaves in place from the wind. You want two inches, about two inches of concrete. See if I get it on the leaf so it's I'll keep them keep them right in the same spot I want. This is a little thin, but it's hot and it's probably gonna set up pretty fast. So okay, I think I can take my rock off. And you can see how pretty that's gonna look up there. I, I really like this the way these leaves overlap right there. So I'm gonna try to keep it there that way. On there. Should be pretty. It's running. We don't want it to be too so so runny that it runs off the leaves. So if your concrete's a little bit runny, you can let it set for a few minutes and 
stay in place. Try to keep it in place. You don't want it to run off the leaves. So sometimes that's just a matter of letting it sit in the bucket just a little bit longer. So we're going to let that sit there. Kind of smooth out on its own. I'm going to go down here and start a little bit of my pattern. Try to keep my leaves in place where I want them. So basically, this is all you do. You just smear it on now. Now this is running. So we're going to have to let it sit for a few minutes, maybe, to concrete. Well, get, get, get it started. I don't want to go off the leaves. I don't want to go off the leaves. I'm going to keep that pattern if I can. So... I'm just going to hold it there for a few minutes. Maybe spread it that way. The rest of it seems to be doing alright. It's just that one spot. It must have been a little wet. That's it. Of course, make sure you wear gloves. How easy it is, you just smear it on there. Now it's starting to set up a little bit better in the bucket, so. So my plan is to get this on here, we'll let it set for two days, and then we'll flip it over, and um, I'll show you that. In a couple days we'll come, we'll do another video and show you that. We'll have an unveiling. You can see what it's going to look like, and then I'll show you what I do in the, when I paint it. Yeah, this is working out good. This should be pretty. I think I'm going to let this switch stick off my face again. Oh, sorry. It's hot. So I hit my eyes and I can't see. Way. Just kind of follow your pleats a little bit. Now, I'm starting to set up already. Now we're 
Try to keep it two inches thick down here. Well, everywhere, actually. This is a pretty easy thing to do. You can scoop it back if it runs, runs off. You just don't want to mess too much with your... We'll let that set for a few minutes. It's kind of thin there again. Once it starts setting up, you can push it back. really good. It's not probably spread out at all. Just follow my lead. Really fine. It should, should be pretty. Don't know what color I'm going to make it yet, though. I have a friend who wants this one, and I think she likes blue. My last one was blue. It's getting there. Look, it's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. This works a little bit thin. something maybe it's not mixed as well so just look where it maybe isn't do you think it might not be thick enough like right there just add some more you can always still push it back up if it needs to be that's basically what you do now you just get it on there let it start setting up. Yeah, we had bad storms last night. We had a wall cloud. Hail the size of your palm of your hand. We didn't have any damage, but... Lots of people around had trees down and Mother Nature, I'll tell you, she can be hard to deal with sometimes. 
Okay, that's looking good. Oh, it's starting to set up too. That's good. Now, a little bit left. Might as well use it. I like to make sure there's enough on the bottom here because that's you don't want that to be thin there in the bottom for sure. That's where you're going to be setting your. I use conduit pipes to set it on. take and make three, pound them about, what Bob, two foot long, two and a half foot long, and uh, pound them into the ground, or you can go as long as you want it, depends on, that tells how high you want your bird, bird back to be, and then I pound them into the ground, and then I'll just sit, like, like one here, one here, and one here in a triangle. Okay, we're getting there. Let's see, we're getting there. Alright, I need a tool. Let's see if we can find this a little more. edges a little bit if you want. Uh, let's see how Just go around and like there's push it back maybe. Even though it's not not on the leaf it'll be alright. I'll still get the pattern of that leaf there. Actually it looks pretty good. I think it's thick enough. Shaker, so I'm going to push it back. I kind of like it to not be so thin on the edges. And it's okay to push it back. And that's pretty much what we do. Like that's it. Flip it over. In a couple of days, and see what we got. So there you go. You wanted to see it. Or several people wanted to see it. That gets you started. And what to do? And I'll just kind of work on my edges a little bit more myself here. And. Call this good, and uh, we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you in a couple days. Maybe it won't be so hot, and I won't be sweating down my face. So, everybody, have have a safe day. Hello. Hi. Um, we're back. This is set uh, two days. Um, turned upside down and in the sand and stuff, and. Um, Bob helped me flip it and uh, take and we moved the sand away so you can see what it looks like. So when you take it off, you can still see all the leaves. This right here, I'm not sure that I like this. We're going to have to see how this turned out. I was hoping to see the tips a little better in there. but So anyway, they, it pretty much really did stay in place real good. Um, so we're going to start seeing what this looks like. So you can just peel it off. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be pretty. Let's see what we got here. Here's another one. Yep. It's working. Yeah, it's going to look nice.
Yep, I'm already pleased with it. I think it's going to be real pretty. I think I'm going to paint it purple. I got to go find a color yet. I'm, I haven't. I don't have a paint. So what we'll do next? I'll take um. Oh yeah, this is turning out nice. Oh yeah, this is turning out pretty. This is the fun part. Yeah, this will clean up nice. Okay. Places where um, the leaves will kind of stick under the concrete just a little bit. You can see it. Just try to get it off of there. This really did come out nice. Um, sometimes I notice when, like that right there, the leaves under it. So the little pieces of the concrete will pop off, and I kind of wanted to do that to continue my pattern, and then scrape the leaf off, and then that will end up giving us a better, see, that comes off, and I want that to come off. Then that gives us, yeah, there it is. You can see it, there's more leaf under there. There it goes. You just gotta work with it. See, I'm getting that edge back right there. So, this is pretty much the easy part. I take, um, after I get it all scratched off, this is just a piece of plastic. I just keep working on getting the plant out of there in those places. This is the one down here. I, I don't know. If, let's see if, how this does. I was really hoping. Yeah, it's going to come off some. Yeah, it's going to come off. So I, I, I probably will be able to work on getting. Yeah, see, it's coming off. That's what the plan is, it's going to come off. So it'll take me a, oh, it'll take me a little bit, not long, to get this cleaned up. Um. what's going to be nice about it when I can, like, see here's the tip of, here's the tip of this leaf, comes around like this, there's the tip, that will paint that really pretty when I get to it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. Um, so, here's the plan. Once I get this all done, then I'll take this and just lightly Sweep it off here and there and around the edges. Remove anything that's... Okay, I don't have to remove much. It's good. It's going to be good. So, I'll finish cleaning this up. Look here. Look at the, look at the pattern. You can see them. They're good. They're going to be good. I'll get this cleaned up. I'll spend the time doing it myself. And I'll get back with you. And then what I will do, I will paint this with exterior latex paint. My first coat is going to be black and I mix it half paint, half water. And this is um, what I was told to do by a man who um, for, it's been his life's work uh, making fountains and um, concrete statues and things for outside. He says, take it, like right now, once I have it cleaned up, before I paint it, wet it down. Not soak it, just wet it down, like spray some water on here and wet it down. And then take your 
50% paint, 50% water, and just brush it on everything. Um, it doesn't have to be a, um, a thick coat. It's not going to be a thick coat. This is going to be like a wash. But what it does um, is it goes into the concrete the, because it's, it's um, the water, having it wet first, helps it to absorb into the concrete. And since this is going to be a bird bath, you, you want that to happen. Um, he says that his uh, fountains will, will last for 10, 15, 20 years painted this way. So we're going to so, uh, paint this with black exterior latex paint, 50% paint, 50% water, and um, I'll get that done. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to um, finish it off. So the next time you see me, this will be black. So have a good day. So. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're back. We're ready to paint. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what, what I did or what I'm going to do. Um, I wet this down. I just took the hose and wet, wet it down a little bit. It's, there's no paint on it yet. I mix up my dark color. It doesn't have to be black. It could be any dark color you want, but it needs to be a dark color. Um, that way the details of the veins of the leaves will show through. And um, So what I do is I, I have my color and I mix equal parts, half and half of my paint exterior acrylic latex paint and um, so half paint half water and you just basically brush it on it's that simple doesn't have to be thick doesn't have to be just brush it on it, the water helps to soak the paint into the concrete and that's supposed to be what helps it to um, stay on longer. So this is, and let this, I'll let this dry. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. And it's watery, you can see it's watery. Just scrub it, scrub it in. And It'll look a little streaky, and that's okay. Um, you get that on there, and you could give it a second coat. I'll probably um, paint it. After this, I'll paint it the main color of what I want my bird bath to be. So, that's all you do for that, for the back. So, I'll flip it over and uh, paint the inside, and then I'll get back with you.
come back in about probably 15 20 minutes and I'll be able to paint it with my color. Yep. That'll be good. Okay, how I'm going to start with this is I find my patterns, I can see them on here, and first I'm going to take my what I call my mother color, the main color that I want my leaves to be, which is this this pink. Um, it's not it's the middle color too. It's it's not the darkest, and then white will be the lightest. But anyway, first I pick, I dry brush, so I don't get a lot. And this is also um, straight out of the can. Um, exterior latex paint, not diluted. So I've got some on my brush. You don't want to paint it so hard that it fills the cracks because the cracks are what you want to see. That's what makes the pretty texture. So this leaf is on top. On this side, some of the dry brush, some of this purple paint. See how I'm hitting and missing? Go down here. Like to, at this point, I still leave an awful lot of um, the dark color showing through. This right here, this one's on top. And just follow it around. At this point, it's easier, it's better to do less than more. You can always go back and do more. The secret to this, to make it stand out, is going to be what I call light against dark. Like this will be light, that part of that leaf will be dark. This will be light, that part of that leaf will be dark. So that's what, that's the goal of what I'm trying to do here. That's what makes your paintings pop, is when you get a play of light against dark. And it also keeps your leaves more separated too, so you can see the individual leaves better than just painting it all. Also, all the pink or whatever color you're using. I know there's not pink pasta leaves, but I want this to be pink. My bird bath, so <laughs> I can do what I want. I'm gonna keep. I like pink and I don't have enough of it in my flower bed.
through. That's what makes it pretty. I'm going to go into some of my darker, my shadow color. Same. And I'll be working in the opposite sides over here. That leaf, that tucks that leaf back behind. And the one in front of it there. Yeah, that's great. Remember, try to just hit the top. Leave that dark color showing through. That a little heavy. Pretty. Take a little bit of white and tap again, just more dry, just more dry brush. And I'm going to hit the edges that are on on top. Like this is the one on top. I'm just going to hit that. You can run it in here a little bit if you want. Again, I'm still leaving that dark go through. Yeah, you can start seeing them.
It's just a matter of you finishing it off the way you want it to look with the colors. Just don't get carried away with the paint. You want that black to show through. Simple it is. It's not hard to make these. One of the little tricks to doing it. dark, the center is dark. I think that looks fine and that looks good. Well, I think that's it. Um, I'll probably flip it over and maybe paint, paint the back, maybe blue or we'll see. I'll think about it for a while. But, um, that's it. Um, as far as sealing it, um, there's I've had a bird bath painted with a, outside of acrylic paint for, and it lasted for years with no sealer. Some people still like to put a sealant on it. Some people like to use polyurethane. Some like to use um, an acrylic uh, sealer on it, a spray sealer on it. So I can't really um, advise the best because like I said, I haven't, this is only my second one. And, uh, but I, I, that one over there, I put a spray acrylic on it, uh, probably Krylon Sealer, I think is what it's called. Um, I might not seal this one, just see how it holds up without a sealer. But um, anyway, that's how you make it, that's how I paint it, and if you can find uh, something that works better, share it with me. <laughs> So uh, there you go. Um, can't wait to get it dry. I think I'm going to get the blue one towards the end and I'm going to keep this one. I like this one. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed my, le my lessons. And pretty new at this. It's the first time I've done this. So it's just how it is. It's me. I get pretty messy. <laughs>